topic in unit 4 is conversion of orthographic views to isometric views where we will be given uh, two or three views so like uh, front view top view and side view uh, we have to convert that uh, into a single view so in the fifth unit what we have done is so we were given a single view which is called as isometric view and uh, we have converted that into multiple views uh, like again uh, front view top view and uh, left side view or right side view okay so here uh, in the fourth unit we are going to do reverse of that one so what we are going to do here is we are going to convert uh, three figures so we are trying to merge three figures into a single figure so that conversion only we are calling it as orthographic to isometric conversion okay so why i have put up uh, this slide here is so here we have uh, uh, something called as isometric axis and uh, isometric lines okay so isometric in the next slide i'll show you how uh, with uh, something called as isometric graph okay so generally you, you already know that uh, uh, to the left side so we will be generally taking 30 degrees and to the right side also 30 degrees and uh, the uh, why I'm saying uh, these things are because we have already discussed these things and uh, uh, the most two important points what I told you uh, in the first part of the fourth unit is so vertical lines remain vertical in the isometric view and the horizontal lines will be inclined at an angle of 30 degrees okay so that's what uh, I have said so depending upon that one so in isometric view so these horizontal these uh, 30 degrees inclined lines are actually horizontal lines so in orthographic views and in orthographic view so if a line is vertical so here also so we will have that line as vertical okay so this one also i have discussed uh, when i talked about the first part of the fourth unit and um, i don't want to repeat those once again i just want to show the isometric axis and uh, isometric graph how it looks like so this is what uh, uh, called as isometric graph if you google it so you will get it um, or otherwise I'll try to share this image uh, with everyone. So this is something called as isometric graph where you will have uh, lines uh, uh, drawn uh, 30 degrees to the left side and 30 degrees to the right side and vertical lines. So this is called as isometric grid or uh, isometric graph where we will try to draw our uh, isometric views. So the question will be given as two or three views will be given and we will try to convert that into a single view on this particular uh, uh, graph okay uh, initially uh, uh, try to practice uh, problems on this graph but in the examination uh, a, a graph of this kind will not be given to you where you have to do it uh, without this graph okay so but uh, it is recommended that uh, initially you try to practice your problems on this graph okay uh, where you will feel comfortable okay and uh, isometric scale this one also i hope i have already discussed this one okay so generally isometric uh, uh, length will be lesser than that of the true length okay so isometric length so here you can see that uh, um, isometric length is equal to 0 0.82 times of the true length okay um, at the bottom you can see that isometric length is equal to 0 0.82 times of the true length okay uh, so this is what i don't want to explain this particular figure also what we will be doing uh, in uh, generally is though uh, whenever we are drawing an isometric view uh, we are required to multiply every dimension but 0 0.82 but uh, in general we are not doing that okay so in the next slide so this also i have discussed so here you can see that uh, i want you to read the point number uh, three okay so standard practice is to keep all dimension dimensions as it is the the view thus obtained is called as isometric view or isometric drawing uh, point number four also the isometric view utilizes actual dimension the isometric view of the object is seen larger than its isometric projection okay and now the second point however to obtain isometric lens from the isometric scale is always a difficult or cumbersome task so that's why what we will be doing is uh, though we have to multiply each and every dimension that we have uh, in orthographic view uh, multiplied by 0 0.82 but we are not doing that in orthographic view if we are seeing uh, a length of 30 mm in isometric view also we are trying to uh, take the same dimension as same the uh, trying to take the same thing as uh, 30 mm okay but the these conditions remain same 
vertical line in orthographic view will remain vertical isometric uh, um, vertical line in uh, orthographic view will remain uh, vertical in isometric as well as the horizontal line in orthographic will remain uh, uh, 30 degrees uh, in isometric view okay so this is what uh, uh, the basic two things that we have to remember whenever we are trying to convert a two dimensional figure into a three dimensional figure so this is the first question which i solved earlier so here i try to uh, here i try to convert uh, a simple square plane into a, an isometric view i try to draw the isometric view of the square plane for two conditions one uh, when the surface is parallel to vp and when the surface is parallel to hp so these things uh, i already discussed earlier and uh, i try to draw the isometric view for rectangle again for two conditions when the surface is horizontal when the surface is vertical when the surface is vertical means surface is parallel to vp when the surface is horizontal means when the surface is parallel to hp so these things are also done and uh, i try to draw the isometric view of pentagon as well as hexagon again for those two conditions when the surface is parallel to hp and vp and similarly uh, for circle also uh, one point what you have to remember is isometric view of circle is ellipse okay so that's what you have to remember there are two methods uh, four center method and uh, another one is uh, offset method so these things are also discussed uh, earlier and after uh, completing the planes so i solved uh, nearly five problems related to uh, solids drawing simple uh, drawing uh, simple solids drawing uh, simple solids uh, converting uh, um, simple solids into simple solid iso iso uh, orthographic views into isometric views okay and um, so these things uh, pyramids prisms and cone and uh, cylinder okay so these things uh, i have already discussed in the first uh, first part of the fourth unit okay and uh, now this is our thing okay so this is our current topic so where this uh, this left three things left hand side view front view and top view so at the top it is written orthographic projections so your question is this one uh, which you are seeing at the left okay you will be given front view you will be given top view and you will be given some side view it can be left hand side view or it can be right hand side view where you will be asked uh, to draw an isometric view which you are seeing at the right hand side okay so the one which is at the right hand so that one you have to draw by seeing the dimensions which are there on the left and depending upon the view so if i am seeing it from the front okay so how it should appear in the isometric view so if this is the top view then uh, how i should make my top view look uh, uh, same when i see this one from the top in the isometric view okay so like that uh, so we have to uh, by seeing these three figures you have to combine these three figures into a single isometric view so that's what uh, it is required okay and uh, yeah so that's it so with this uh, uh, small introduction so we will uh, try to solve some problems i'll try to solve six problems uh, in this uh, topic okay so the remaining uh, six problems i actually shared 12 problems with you in that six problems and uh, mostly uh, difficult problems uh, students uh, feel those problems as difficult i have chosen uh, that type of problems and uh, that problems i am trying to solve here and i will share the videos with you the remaining six problems so you are required to solve by your own okay thank you